It's crazy. Dude. Bro, Kyle just surprised me with this lens and it's so pretty. Holy moly. Oh man, it's a beauty, eh? Here's what we were using before, it's a wide angle. The autofocus and the blurred, bro, I just wanna go to the gym now. <laughs> I was waiting, I was literally gonna pull it out and film your reaction, but um, I couldn't hold it off any longer, so. We basically did, at least we got the moment real, legit. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, uh, welcome to Winner's Train, Losers Complain. We're uh, already getting some work done towards our next goals. We'll uh, update you guys on that in a sec. Oh, cool, yeah. Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> I watch your YouTube channel, it's pretty cool. What's going on, man? What's your name? Sarum. Nice to meet you, I'm Josh. Hi, brother. Nice Good to meet you. I always see you guys training videos, really good advice. Yeah. What I found, uh, you know what was really good? Uh, so on the treadmill, you you know how you were saying you push and then you go? You were showing that at the mat? That was really helpful, I've been doing that. They're good, the travel yeah. pushes? Good. Do I look pretty with all my EHP swag? What's up my homies, uh, we're back at you. We haven't done an update in a while and we actually have a ton going on and like a lot of philosophy and thought. Yeah, a lot of you guys saw we did compete. It was an amazing time. We got to spend a good amount of time with friends. We did super well, brought home some medals, uh, sorry, trophies, and make sure to check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Kyle can annotate it here, I guess. So yeah, if you guys haven't kept up, we just competed, we both won. Uh, my girlfriend Olivia also competed, we trained her and she also won, so, so far we've gone Five for five. <laughs> it's been a good little start, and we're back in the gym already. Uh, we were gonna call it winners train, losers complain, but there's just so much to go over in this video, and we're gonna go over a new series, wrapping up this series, what we intend with the new series, and the upcoming competitions and feds, and just everything we're gonna kind of dive into this summer. The reason I switched to the dark side with sleeves is uh, we both won, so the. CPF, Canadian Powerlift Federation. We won the national meet there. We both won our national RPS meet, so the next step is the OPA, Ontario Powerlifting Association. They can funnel us to the provincial and the nationals and that legit stream. And this would be raw, so we need to take advantage of everything we can. I'm excited to play with them and let you guys know what we think. All right guys, so as you guys can see, the quality is being absolutely upped. Surprise Josh with the 18 by 35 Sigma lens. He was super excited and I'm just as fired up. Quality this summer is gonna be absolutely unreal. We were using a wide angle lens. Um, I still have it, but it just wasn't doing the job. And this is something that I've been wanting to get for so long. So our quality is being up like crazy. It was just really annoying because some angles we just look horrible because of the wide lens, it's a fish eye. So the middle will look good. It just made filming very difficult. Whereas this is a very simple point and shoot that just looks extremely beautiful. Like as you can see, it's really focusing me, blurring the background. And we just wanna make sure our videos are very nice to watch. And like it is our one form of art is our editing and everything. So we, we really wanna just dive in. And even with our editing, we just wanna see if we can keep upping our level and making sure that our content is better than it needs to be. So we have not done over three to five reps for the squat. So it feels really good to get back to volume. You have to learn to do it. Man up. <laughs> it's nice though. Kyle's gonna try uh, sleeves here. So yeah, this volume, uh, it's tough to get back into. So we actually wrapped up our conjugate. Um, we're getting a little comfy. I felt that we weren't really ready for conjugate yet because we're still kind of, with shredded strength, it's tough. We weren't doing our back offsets enough and we were, kind of getting very comfortable with where we were per se. So we're kind of just switching it up, going PH3, we've got a ton of volume and it's gonna do us really well. It's a nice switch. We are gonna be doing a qualifier for provincials. We're hoping to do nationals. We both should qualify with our numbers already and that's why we're using the knee sleeves as you saw. And then that's why we're gonna go with the volume. It is a 13 week program. We're gonna bridge the first two weeks over. Uh, if you guys want, we can hook you up with how to start that. And then that'll be 15 weeks till our next meet. It's just a qualifier will be light, but it'll be sweet. How do you like the wraps even, or the sleeves, even though they're a bit big for you? Gives you a little bounce. I like it. It's nice out of the I'm hole. I'm gonna get used to it. 455 yeah. for the next comp. <laughs> We're going uh, 560, bro. They are nice though. They'll do me well. 
All right, so uh, as you guys saw there, I was actually using Josh's knee sleeves. Um, I just ordered a medium pair for myself off of in, Inner Strength. Yeah, Inner Same. Strength. Only and place in Canada we can They are as expensive as hell, but the quality is unreal. Expect a review from us or at least some, some thoughts on, uh, on the product. So Yeah, we, we stayed away from the knee sleeves, but now we're able to use them. Uh, we also want to make sure we can live when we're 40. So it's so funny, though. I, I literally looked at my gym bag. I'm like, I have all this crap. I remember when I used to go to the gym and just wore whatever I was wearing and like some raggedy shirt and you just go in. But now it's so systematic. And I guess as you mature and you become more professional per se, that's yeah. that's kind of where we're headed. And we're kind of diving into powerlifting. We like to go to nationals. We like to really leave our mark there and actually just do extremely well. I feel we have three more years of junior. I definitely think we can be top in Canada if we keep doing what we're doing. Um, kind of a little update for myself and Kyle can talk about himself. So my last meet went, I won and everything, but my numbers weren't where they needed to be. So I dropped my calories a lot. I actually ended up losing about 20 pounds during shredded strength. So that's why I'm looking a little baby face, skin tight right now. <laughs> Plus you shave too. Had to, so that'll <laughs> help. That's another 14 pounds jokes. So yeah, I, I did a lot of that. It was a very harsh shock, I think. Just not being at maintenance is turning me off a bit, but I've really kind of set into where I need to be. For our next series, our next series will announce it now. It's going to be called Summer Flex. So Summer Flex, baby. We, we've tried to really think of... It's tough because we really like summer and everything, but it's tough because a lot of people have already claimed a lot of titles. And we're trying to think what was us. And it's cool because it has dual meaning, right? You yeah. want to talk about it a bit? Yeah, so Summer Flex is basically... What we're going to do is we're going to be taking you guys through a 10-week cut. And... A lot of you guys see on YouTube where people, you know, take you guys through their day where everything goes well, their cut's going well, they're losing weight, and they just show you it. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys the ups and downs of cutting, going to take you guys through our weigh-ins, through what we're eating, literally through the entire process. If we have a bad day, we'll still pick up the camera, we'll show you guys what's going on, and we're going to try to be as real as possible. Get a lot um, of uploads in as well. Yeah. Another big thing for us, I'm sure you're just about to say No, it's all good. Keep going. But... <laughs> The summer is huge for us because even like Canadian culture and stuff like this happens a lot of places But summer you go to the cottage you go to the beach you have fun Like how can I still go to the beach go with my friends be diced? Yeah, so eat fun if it fits your macros go out do these cool things And that's kind of like the term flexing urban flexing is showing off Whatever we're not so much going that route But we kind of want to show you that you can have fun with your body and now this was a big thing of the theme so Originally, we we're gonna do classic bodybuilding this summer and men's physique, mm -hmm. but we've rushed a lot of comps and we're kind of in between. We may still do it, we'll see, but the goal of this series is a lot of you guys watch us and you're probably doing the same thing. You wanna cut down for summer. So we've actually decided we're gonna develop a summer challenge. So you guys will be able to join along and actually go with us. We'll have a Facebook group, we'll be doing everything. And then something to keep in mind within that is, within this challenge, we really want you guys can be involved and we want to show you what you can do without competing. So we're going to have challenges. We're going to have a DEXA scan at the end. We're going to have a book of photo shoot. We're going to show you guys that there's more to life than competing and having someone else tell you you're great. So we want to show you guys things you can do without going the competition route. So yeah, we're super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. A lot more to come. We love you all so much. Uh, Kyle's trying my weird little app thing. It's on YouTube. It's called 8 Minute Apps. It's just easy. Someone to hold you accountable. Let's go, pal. Uh, I'm dying here. This is the hardest one, dude. A little stretch. Hey. Soldier. Soldier.